Alrighty. Just looking at this. 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 Just, just these thumbnails and titles. 123% return. Passive income. Selling put options. Stop buying stocks. Exclamation point. Selling put options. <laughs> just seriously. You're actively selling. That's not a passive income. Hold on. Make sure my finger didn't poke the wrong part of the screen. Fucking touch screen that goes all the way to the goddamn edge and halfway around the fucking phone. It's just stupid. Alright, 90% of any of you who actually take that advice, that financial advice... And try to use it. 90% of you who actually do that. Are going to fail. And lose money. Or whatever. And you're going to wind up going in the hole. Going negative. Going into debt. Mostly because you don't do. Diligence. You don't research. You just take what some asshole on YouTube said and run with it. <sighs> I spent months combing through information. Years before the situation got where it is now, globally. On how to set up a brokerage account. How to get it not the bend, just right. Exquisite. Just, just the way I needed it to be. I'm not going to tell you step by step what I went through. If you want to know, look at the fuck up for yourself. I'm not your mommy or your daddy. I'm not going to teach you shit that you are capable of, of looking up for yourself. You claim you're a grown ass fucking man or woman. You're, you're 18. You think, oh, I know everything. I'm fucking adult. Yeah, go fucking look it up for yourself. You're not paying me to help you with it anyway. I got it set up. You don't have to have a single fucking penny in your own brokerage account. You don't have to maintain a fucking minimum balance. You just have to take the one to three months to actually set it up. It does take some time. And I spent several months and up to a couple of years actually researching all the little details. Every detail I came across that I didn't know before, I wrote down, looked up, I wrote down all the information about all the little details. I combed through it for a couple of years. And I literally mean just two years. I made sure I knew what I was doing before I jumped in. That's what you're supposed to do. Know what you're jumping into before you jump into it. So any, any of this bullshit. This bullshit right here. If you just look at that 12 minute, 57 second video, 80% of the video is going to be filler. I know without even watching it. I've watched so fucking many of them.
80% of his video is going to be filler. Just like this video I have made right now is filler. Why do YouTubers do it? Well, we're not being paid to give you sound, decent, working financial advice. We're not paid for that. That's what you pay a financial institution to give you a fucking consultation is for. So, if you want all the little details I dug up for the, the years I spent looking into it and finding out exactly what the fuck I was getting into, pay me for it. I spent years acquiring that information. I'm not just going to give it the fuck away for free. No one is. The best thing you'll get for free is this video right fucking here. Me telling you, don't be a fucking moron. Or this video. Or this video. Sensationalist clickbait bullshit. But you know what the difference between other videos and my video is? I'm telling you honestly. 80 to 90% of you who just jump the fuck into it, who don't do due diligence, you're going to fail. And as far as, uh, <laughs> as far as the stock market goes, I'm not going to tell you jack fucking shit about put options, call options, all that stuff. I'm not going to tell you jack shit about options. I didn't do any research on it. It's far too in-depth for me to give a fuck about. It's beyond the scope of me sitting on my ass, getting drunk, and saying dumb shit in a gaming video for you to laugh at. It's far beyond the scope of me laughing at the bureaucrats and politicians for being fucking stupid bitches after I've spent 15 fucking years minimum telling them don't do that. What is well within the scope of anything that I'm going to tell you is extremely sound, truly passive income once you get it set up. That's what I want to do. But before I can enact any of the two years worth of research I've done, I have to have money to put into this brokerage account I've set up so that I can buy these things so that they can sit there and just pour money back into the account. And if anyone tells you they're going to give you free advice. That they're going to help you the fuck out. Tell you how to set up bullshit. Like, seriously, it's redundant. It's an oxymoron. It's two opposing energies that cancel each other out in the vernacular sense. Basically, read this. Passive income means you don't do anything. Selling put options. Selling is the act of doing something. Oxymoron much? Y y Running a lemonade stand is not passive. Having someone run the lemonade stand for you is passive. Selling something is not passive income. Having someone sell something for you is passive income. 
buying an option and then reselling it is not passive. That's you being active. Buying something and holding it while it earns money for you and puts it straight into your account is passive. So, these two fellows, with their videos, are completely fucking canceling each other out in their own words. How to passive income selling... Huh? Logic? Anyone? Basic grammatical structuring for logistic transference from mind out of mouth into ear of whoever's listening into their mind? Anyone? I've gotten way too satirical. All right. I need to wrap this up. Nobody's going to give you sound advice for free. Number one. Number two, if you're buying and selling, it ain't fucking passive. And no, I'm not going to do that fallacy rule of three. You're either going to like or dislike this video or not click either one of those at all. Your fucking choice. I don't care. Hell, you could click both and then fuck right off if you like. I don't care. Leave a comment or don't. Or like someone's comment or don't. If there's any comments. Are there? Subscribe or don't. Or unsubscribe. I don't care. Make up your own mind. You're your own person. I, I don't control you. Use the links in the description to throw fallacy credits at me through Patreon or PayPal or don't. It's completely your choice. Just keep in mind, when enough of you throw enough fallacy credits at me through Patreon or PayPal, I'll be sitting on my ass, getting very drunk, doing stupid shit in games, just to have a cheap laugh. For myself and for you. And as I didn't introduce myself at the beginning of the video, fuck it, I'll do it at the end. Hello, I am Katana the Lightning Cat, YouTube and your favorite idiot. That's a self-proclamation. What's the word? Conceit? Yes, it may be a conceit. But it's a hilarious one as far as I'm concerned. Don't worry about my teeth. I'll grow them back in a few dozen, thousand or so years. Or maybe I'll just hijack someone else's physical form and use it instead. I have no fucking idea what I'm going to do. plans change. And that concludes this video. And I'm making it a standing rule. Every time I introduce myself, get drunk. Have a drink. Enjoy it. It'll create the illusion that I'm doing something entertaining, at the very minimum. Till next time, toodle pips.